Hi, I'm Kirsten. I'm a music therapist at University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital. Music therapists use music to help people deal with the stress of hospitalization. I'm here to help you and your families deal with any pain or stress that you might feel as a result of your surgery. I'm part of the medical team and I work alongside the doctors and nurses to help you recover from your surgery and get home as soon as you can. Hi, I'm Chelsea and I'm the nurse clinician who works with the pediatric surgery team. It's completely normal to feel some pain after surgery, but there are many ways that we can treat these symptoms. Using relaxation and medicine together can help improve your comfort during your hospital stay. Although you might not expect to hear about music therapy in a hospital, it's actually a really good way to help you cope with being here. Music relaxation is when we use quiet music and cue you to take deep breaths and use relaxation techniques. But you might also find that listening to your favorite music is very helpful to you. So you might want to create a playlist before you come in of your favorite songs and, and bring it with you. Uh, you may even find that you want to create music on an app like GarageBand or relax by playing an instrument like a ukulele. There's lots of different things that we can do with music while you're here. Overall, music is going to just help give you that energy to help you stay active and the motivation you need to stay positive. Our goal is for you to be comfortable while you're resting in bed, but it's also very important to get up and be active while you're in the hospital. They'll help you heal faster and help you get home sooner. It may be painful the first time you get up, but we will have medicines and relaxation techniques on board to help you through this transition. The music therapist will come to your room first or second day after your surgery to provide music relaxation around the time that the physical therapist is there to get you out of bed. It was really frustrating because I just wanted to be out and moving around again, but then I, it just hurt too much. It was nice whenever I could to try and stop thinking about the pain. It kind of reminded me of when I was just back home and listening to my favorite music because it's kind of like the same thing, you just lay in there and listen to music. So it was almost like I wasn't in the hospital anymore, which was cool. When she first came into the room, I was like, oh great, music therapy, because, you know, it sounds kind of stupid. <laughs> but then she, like, she asked me what I wanted to do and she had like all these instruments and stuff. And she actually had a ukulele. And we had brought mine from home, even though I didn't know how to play it. So then she was like, oh, I can teach you. And she brought me like all these printed out music. She gave me my own laminated chord chart, and I still have it. And it was just, I was like, oh wait, this is actually kind of fun. And I was excited to learn something. And then after that, I kind of got used to her and I started talking to her. And it was just nice to interact with somebody besides my family. You should definitely take the chance, like the opportunities that you get here because Everybody is really nice and there's so many fun things that you can do even while you're sick. And I wish I had taken some of those and like gone to child life activities and like music therapy was one of the really fun things. And it's just, there's lots of things that you can do. You don't have to just lay there and be sick. Now I'm gonna teach you how to use music to relax. Focusing on your breath is a really great way to calm and it can be a technique that'll help you in other situations when you're outside of the hospital. Breathing for relaxation is a little different than how you might normally breathe. So we ask you to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And when you breathe out, it's like you're blowing through a small straw. So why don't you try a couple breaths with me like that? So breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good. Now sometimes people will just breathe the air out really fast, like a sigh, you know. And that's not going to have the same effect as really extending your exhale, um, which will cause your muscles to relax a little bit more. So what I'd like you to do is try a couple of these breaths now where you're breathing in and you're breathing out. Now what we're going to do is try to take those breaths and breathe to the beat of the music a little bit. So I'm just going to have you breathe in for a count of four and then blow the air out for a count of eight. So it's going to look like this. You're going to let your air out and breathe in. One, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, and done. So it seems like a really long time to breathe out, but that's what we want to try to do. So let's do it one more time. You're going to breathe in for four and out. Five, six, seven, eight, and stop. Good. So when we're doing this uh, practice session right now, I want you to try breathing like that now and then, and then you can go back to your normal breathing. So now that you're beginning to use the breathing, I'd like you to just begin to focus inward. If you want to close your eyes, you can. And I'd like you to imagine yourself in a favorite place. It might be out at a beach that you've been to before. It might be out in the woods, near a mountain. It might even be just a favorite room in your house. Maybe your bedroom or a gaming room or a room where you like to watch television. I'd like to picture yourself there. And we're going to imagine that if you're indoors, you're near a window. If you're outdoors, you've got the sun shining down on you. So imagine the feeling of the sun warming the top of your head. And we're going to take that radiant warmth that you feel and begin to move that down through your body. So allow the warm feeling to spread now down onto your face. Smoothing your brow, relaxing your cheekbones, relaxing the muscles across your face. Relaxing your jaw so that you're not clenching your teeth. And allow that feeling now to spread down into your shoulders, warming your arms right down to your wrists and out through your fingertips. And take a breath in and out. Now refocus your attention on your shoulders and take that warm, radiant feeling there and allow it to begin to spread down into your torso. Relaxing the muscles along your back, relaxing your abdomen, your stomach, and flowing down now into your legs, relaxing your legs, and letting the chair or the bed completely hold you. Warm feeling continues down into your lower legs and right out through your toes. And take another deep breath in and out. Notice what it feels like when your body's relaxed, and when you've focused on your muscles and focused on taking your breath into your body. This is the feeling that we're shooting for. This is the feeling that we want you to have when you're here in the hospital and you're practicing your music relaxation. And now I'd like you to begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, open up your eyes, look around you and bring yourself back into the room where you are, feeling refreshed and calm and focused. Thank you for trying that.